They waited well into the night of April 18th, Zimbabwe's Independence Day, to welcome one of the country's most loved musicians, who ironically hasn't been able to set foot here for the last 14 years. There was an electric atmosphere as news filtered through that Thomas Mapumo was in the building. Others, I want to cry. Oh, shame. 14 years, not a joke. I've last seen this man 14, 14 years ago. I just want to get a glimpse of him. That's why I'm here, this emotional fan told me. I'm not sure how much he saw of the legendary musician who was besieged when he emerged. Mapfumo was the voice of resistance during the country's liberation war, composing songs that rallied young blacks to take up arms. After independence, he was outspoken about corruption, misrule and other social ills leading to his fallout with Robert Mugabe. Most of his music was banned from national radio and it became increasingly difficult for him to live here, forcing him to seek refuge in the United States. His homecoming is indicative of the upswing in sentiment here. By coming back, it means we are now free. Everyone who is out there in the diaspora can now come back home because we have a second independence. Many hope he can continue to speak up for them. Even though he made lots of money and became famous, he never forgot the poor people. Growing up in the ghetto, we were always inspired by him and his music. Mapfumos vowed to stay true to that role. I'll never abandon the people. Yes. Yeah. Will you come back home for good? Well, well this is my home and um, I can always come back for good. But right now I'm not coming for good. I'm coming to play music for my fans. And it's uh, been a long time since I played music here. So. For me, it's a really very, very good feeling. It's an even better one for his fans who've been in party mood since the return of the self-styled Lion of Zimbabwe, whose roar they can't wait to hear again. Farai Mokutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.